How's it going? As you can see, I'm out and we are wild camping in Shropshire. I don't think it gets the credit it deserves. So I'm off for a night on the Longmond. I parked up down in Little Threaten and I'm currently heading up via Ashes Hollow, which is probably one of the best ways up onto the Longmond. So I'm going to get up, find somewhere to pitch. I've, picked, I've um, camped here a few times, so I know roughly where there are some decent pitches, but I might try and find somewhere new. We shall see what we're doing for time. It is just gone two, we've been set off about five past two. It's probably now 20 past. So yeah, I'll bring you back shortly. Yeah, this bit could be fun. Got to try and get over the other side. So, not entirely sure the best way. Maybe getting over this smaller gap here. So yeah, I'll try that. So yeah, I got over, over that. Um, I weren't going to actually get the YouTube shot. It weren't worth getting my feet back for. Um, so yeah, I've got over it. My pack was lighter and smaller, then yeah, I'd have got the old YouTube shot, but it was not worth it. So let's get cracking. Yeah. Sunsets at 4.11, so not got mega long. So yeah, I'll bring you back in, in a bit. Okay, so now I'm, I'm away from the stream, it's a bit less noisy. So, if you couldn't hear me before, sun sets around about 10 past 4, and it is coming now 2.48. So, just over an hour, got to get up still. I might be pitching after sunset, but. It's all about being out, all about having that solitude up in the hills, um, post Christmas, that, that sort of time is a bit hectic. So, first week back at work, 
been good to get back out on the weekends and just have some downtime. The forecast for tonight, it's at the minute it's raining. I think it's got rain until a bit later on, about eight-ish, and then hopefully should just ease off then. I don't think I'm going to get a clear sky. I don't think I'll get a sunrise, but we never know. I'll check the forecast again when I'm back at the top, but it's not looking hopeful. So I'm going to get going, try and get up before sunset. I'll bring you back in a bit. This section is sort of a nice gentle stroll, um, nothing too strenuous. Starts off, you start off walking through a campsite and then through some fields before it runs along the river. And then that's the bit where I have to, uh, had to do that river crossing or stream crossing. Um, that bit's a bit, gets a bit technical in places. Nothing too much show, but you do need to watch where you put your feet, otherwise you could stack it and be in the stream. So this bit is like a nice gentle part and then just around the corner it will kick up then to get up to the tops of the long wind. Um, it's my favourite way up in this and Townbrook Valley. So if you are in Shropshire and you, and you do visit the long wind, check out Townbrook Valley and Ashes Hollow. Um, start in different places but you can do a loop. There's a path that runs from the bottom of Tangbutt va va Valley and then it um, joins on to where you need to be for Ashes Hollow. Dogs just are going to run around in the, in the bracken. He's going to be soaking from a tent, isn't he? Reach a bit now where it kicks off. It's the final push to get onto the top of the long wind. I just turned around, so just up there, like a path which will get us on there now. Um, blue skies are starting to come, rain stops, which is always good. But this bit, I find it harder than usual. With the Christmas period, being ill, I've not done as much running as I like to, so I'm not as in shape as what I usually would be. But it's all good fun. It's all about getting back into it in the new year. So yeah, I'm going to keep going. Hopefully next time I'll bring you in, I'll be pitching my tent. Yes.
just turn around. I'm not sure if the GoPro will pick it up, but you can just make out the trig point on pole bank and that's covered in low line cloud. Makes it look a bit mysterious. Looks like cool. And then just to the left a bit more, is where the sun is setting. The colouring in the clouds, it's looking quite nice. Yeah, this is where I'll be camping, but we pitch for tent in this little gap here. That's where the sun's gonna be setting. Spin you around. We got Tipstone Clee Hill, Brown Clee Hill. Then we go over then to Carradock, the Lawley. And you can't see it, but in the distance on the clear day, you can see the Viking. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get pitched up then, and then I'll bring you back when it's all up. One thing I need to see if it works, I need to test this method out. So the tent I've got then, it's the Vango Nevis 300. Now I've gone for the 300, which is a three man, because having a dog, and then I sometimes take one of the kids out with me. So there's an adult, a dog, and a kid. That 300 just gives me that extra space for what I need. It is a bit too big for just me and, and the dog. So I, I am planning on getting a separate tent for the days where it's just me and the dog. It's decent sized tent. It's, I wouldn't say it's a three man, it's more of a larger two man. So you've got the vestibule space. Yeah, it's not massive, but it's a decent size. It's big enough for what I need it for. The main compartment then. So yeah, it's spacious. It'll fit too comfortably and you would have to be very close if you wanted three people in here. But yeah, for me and the dog, it's decent size, enough room to move around in, a bit too much room, especially if you want to go lighter weight. Um, but with the kid, one of, one of the kids, it's just about right. So yeah. Starting to clear up noise now. Some nice colourings going on over in that di direction. You can start to see more. The Vikings getting a bit more in view, still a bit hazy in the cloud. But yeah, it's a decent view. Not half bad, is it? So, yeah, got the um, tent up and then it started to rain. So just been sat inside for about half hour just catching up on some social media some messages and whatnot <coughs> um, it's stopped now but i think it's going to keep having some passing showers so i'll be in the tent for i think large periods tonight well when it gets dark it will be Gonna get myself warm. Get me a um, cuppa on the go. 
So yeah, um, this year I'm doing dry January and I'm keeping an open mind um, whether to keep it going past January. Um, just want to try and improve my health. Um, I run quite a bit, but I find on weekends when, when I have a few drinks, um, you sort of wake up and you skip doing your, mor your morning run <clears throat> and then you don't get around to um, getting out later on. <coughs> so yeah, I'm hoping to try and use this year to improve that aspect of my life and get back to being at my best um, fitness-wise. So no alcohol for me, which is um, strange because when I come out on my camps i'll always kick back with um one or two cans but now i've got some green tea yeah a bit different but i feel better for it um part of that as well is i mentioned on my um trail run slash hike up your river the other week um, you can go back and you can see the video on my channel. <clears throat> I mentioned about being part of this uh, men's group in Shropshire. And part of that is um, they do breath work and that's changed my life. So I think at some point I'll be doing some breath work and that will be in this video, hopefully. So yeah, I'm going to... Enjoy my green tea and my snack. Um, I've got a lad, he's doing a hike round here, a night hike. Um, so as he passes, he's going to swing by for a cuppa. Um, yeah, I'll have someone to have a chat to. <coughs> 
But yeah, for now, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy. So yeah, there's a um, lad I know he's um, doing a night hike on the Longmans, so he's gonna swing by for a brew before we head home. So yeah, it'd be good to have a quick chat. Um, I mean the plans for tonight, it's, um, it's a bit wet, so I'm gonna I think. Do some breath work, which I think would be good to show you guys. It's something that I found has really helped. Um, grab something to eat, then just kick back, chill, and watch some on Netflix, I reckon. Um, and then, yeah, get off to sleep, hopefully. The morning forecast is better, so fingers crossed it pays off and I can try and get some decent sunrise time lapse, but we shall see. So yeah, I'm just going to kick back for a bit, relax, unwind and wait for call to turn up but yeah well chat with you guys shortly <sighs> nothing better than just being alone <clears throat> so you can see a dog just down there it's killed up asleep um yeah, he's fine. He's got his cut up wall mat with a blanket on top. Um, yeah, he's he loves it. Um, he'll sleep there now. He'll get up when I get up. And yeah, lovely jubbly. So yeah, just been chilling past hour, hour and a half. Um, Carl's just been had a coffee. Um, he's now heading back down. So yeah, I'm gonna get some food on the go for me and the dog. So I've got. So what I do is when I'm out, I can't be bothered with um, washing up and wiping any bowls, whatever. So I get just some simple stuff. Just add water, um, so like couscous or something like a pot noodle or whatever. Um, and then I add a tin of um, mackerel in there just to boost it up. So tonight I've got some couscous with some raisins in. What I do is I put them in these um, Ziploc bags and these are able to hold hot water. They flat down pack, they don't really weigh much. So simple food. Um, just gets what I need in me, especially for the um, one nighters. Not really doing much hiking, so the calories aren't main concern. If I was to go on a longer hike, then I would be looking for stuff that's more calorie. Um, got more calories in in them. So if that's all I use. Just add some hot water to that, and then the dog. I've got his food in his bag, and I've got a collapsible bowl. It scrunches up quite small. That just stuffs into my bag. Can't tell it's there. Um, it's just from decathlon. There, it's um, 
one of my best buys, I think, especially for a black lab who eats quite a bit, needs to fit what he um, has. So, let's get some water one to go. Few minutes, let us do his job. Sort the dog's food out, let him eat, and then he can just chill down when I'm eating my food. In case you're wondering, I have got two forks one for the dog, and one for me. I'm not going to use this one. So yeah, um, mental health, um, I think it's a big thing, you know, um, I didn't think I suffered from it myself, um, but joining this men's group in Shropshire, it's gave me permission to be me, gave me permission to be vulnerable and open up, um, so yeah, um, I do breath work. I go to this um, space once a month where we all do this breath work in like an hour, an hour and a half. Um, but also, I at home I do the Wim Hof method, which I'm going to do after I've had my food. Um, and I do cold water dips, a lot, cold baths, cold showers. And that just connects me with my body, um, gets me out of my mind, which your mind builds this ego and it wants to detect that. So yeah, it's um, something I want to explore more and hopefully this year I'll continue to grow more. Being out in the hills, it gives you that space to just be on your own and I think at times it's needed gets you out from the everyday life shit um, you know family you work they can bring their own negatives um, stresses and whatnot so yeah just being out in the hills or the mountains lets you escape from all that just for a night or whether it's two nights so yeah um, the mountains are like my own so yeah this year i'll be taking on a few ch challenges um hopefully getting up to scotland up in the cairngorms which should be a pretty epic one 
Um, I'll be getting over to Snowdonia a bit and I get up to the lakes at least once a year. So this channel hopefully will grow and you'll be part of that journey with me. So yeah, I'm just going to sort my food out and then get cracking on some breathwork up in the hills. Looking forward to it. He's just there and he wants more food. Smaller fish, I think. Nope, mine. Yeah, these bags are, so, um, you get them from Home Bargains or B&M, you can know, have like 10 or like 99p. What I do is I take them home, wash them out, and then I reuse them. And, you know, saving the world of plastic. But yeah, once it gets so bad, then I will chuck them and just get, get a new pack if, if need be. Try and reuse plastics when you can. It's all wood in it. So yeah, um, so yeah, I've eaten, dogs eaten. I've got into the clothes, the sleeping. Um, I'm gonna do some breath work. And then I think after that I'll kick back and. Watch them on Netflix. Um, if I don't see you uh, before I fall asleep, then hopefully I can get some form of time lapse, whether it's the stars at night or sunrise. Um, but yeah, I'll get back now and hopefully I'll bring you back a bit later before I call it in for the night. Hi guys, um, so yeah, just been watching some Netflix, um, chilling, it is now 20 to 10, um, I'm going to start to just catch up with the wife, checking how the kids are, um, and then I'm going to start to head off to sleep myself. Um, got the alarm set for seven. Um, since sunrise is twenty past eight, 
so that will give me enough time to see what the conditions like and possibly get a sunrise time lapse so yeah <coughs> I'm going to turn it in on him I'll see you guys in the morning if I do get a sunrise time lapse then it will be on screen shortly night So yeah, just a tent back up now, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to head, head, head off now, catch you in a bit. Glorious, absolutely glorious. Okay, so I'm all pitched up, that's where the tent was. As always, leave no trace, apart from flat glass. Bags all packed. So we're going to leave this wonderful morning and head back down. a much needed night out in the hills first one since September so definitely much needed um, I'm gonna leave now head back down head back home so until the next one look after yourselves